Russia has accused Ukraine of shooting down a military transport plane, killing 65 Ukrainian POWs aboard. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma reports. The defense ministry says Ukrainian forces shot down the plane, killing all 74 people aboard, including the prisoners of war, who were to be swapped. Video of the crash posted on social media showed a plane falling from the sky in a snowy rural area and a massive ball of fire erupting where it apparently hit the ground. The Associated Press has not so far confirmed who was on board or other details on what brought the plane down. Throughout the war, Russia and Ukraine have traded conflicting accusations and establishing the facts has often been difficult. I'm Charles de Ledesma. Israeli vehicles and tanks around Gaza could be seen from southern Israel on Wednesday firing into the southern Gaza Strip. In their biggest operation in a month, Israeli tanks have pushed through to Han Yunus, where hundreds of thousands of displaced Palestinians are sheltering after leaving the north, the early focus of the war. Their main target appears to be the area around Han Yunus's long-standing refugee camp, which includes the Nasser and Al-Amal hospitals. Two ships carrying U.S. military supplies said on Wednesday explosions nearby forced the cargo ships to turn around when they were transiting, accompanied by the U.S. Navy, a crucial strait between Yemen and the Horn of Africa. A spokesperson for Yemen's Houthis military forces said they fired ballistic missiles at several U.S. warships that were protecting two U.S. commercial vessels. Both commercial vessels were carrying cargo for the Department of Defense, Department of State, USAID, and other U.S. government agencies. The Houthis are a designated terrorist group. This is VOA News. Just over a month after taking office in Argentina, Libertarian President Javier Malay faced a general strike Wednesday protesting his degree targeting unions as well as proposals for economic and labor law changes. Argentina's largest labor union organized the strike that was joined by other unions. Demonstrators took to the streets in Buenos Aires and other cities, joined by social organizations and members of opposition political parties. Ecuador's journalists are focusing on personal security after a prosecutor investigating an armed raid on a TV station was killed amid a wave of violence sweeping the country. VOA's Cristina Casario-Smith has the story. It's a situation that has journalists across Ecuador rethinking safety, with some now wearing bulletproof vests on assignment. Newsrooms are also re-evaluating how to respond during an attack like the one on TC television. At radio station HCJB, the voice of the Andes, staff say the raid made them re-evaluate how to safely and accurately report the news. As authorities investigate, journalists and media advocates are starting conversations about measures to protect staff, like those already in place in countries such as Mexico and Argentina. Cristina Caicedo Smith, VOA News. Cairo's historic center is getting a new look. Egypt's Sovereign Wealth Fund is finalizing a master plan to revamp the area now that government ministries have largely moved to a new capital to the east. Reuters correspondent Alice Rizzo has more. The historic center was modeled on Paris in the 1860s. It is filled with elegant but crumbling buildings that were nationalized in the 1950s and 1960s and left in disrepair. The new plan will discourage some activities, such as warehousing and storage, while encouraging others, such as tourism. But the new plan provides a preservation of architectural styles through a permitting system. Reuters correspondent Alice Rizzo, who adds the hope is to break ground on the project within months. An official in Mali says more than 70 people have been killed after an unregulated gold mine collapsed late last week. A search continues amid fears the toll could rise. The senior official at the government's National Geology and Mining Directorate confirmed the details to the Associated Press on Wednesday and called it an accident. The cause of the collapse was under investigation. It was first reported Tuesday in a Ministry of Mines statement that estimated several miners dead. Mali is Africa's third largest gold producer, and such tragedies are common in the country.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.